Well, welcome back to Richards. Today we have our next beer in our summer beer review series. It's Broken Blender from Bottle Logic Brewing. Broken Blender is a tiki cocktail stout. It's an imperial stout aged in rum barrels and finished with coconut, pineapple, orange peel, and a dash of nutmeg. Did you say rum barrels? Mm -hmm. mm. I love a good stout aged rum barrels. Same. Uh, the food pairings are Kisong Puti, Manapua Buns, and Bibinka. There we go. Director's notes don't order blended cocktails. The bartender thanks you. <laughs> I actually heard that's true. They hate blending. They them. hate making blended cocktails because they have to. They put have it in to the blender. use the blender, and then they have to clean the blender afterwards. Oh yeah, I understand that. Why? I hate cleaning all those things. Food processors, vendor or vendors, <laughs> blenders, uh, those the mandolin things to cut stuff. Everything always gets stuck in there, and there's blades that are sharp. Like just use a knife. How do you make a cocktail with a knife? Get all the little things into wedges. And then how do you blend it? I don't know. You're right. <laughs> you can't just stir it really fast. <laughs> you can actually just put soap and water in the blender and turn the blender on. Then how come all these bartenders haven't figured that out yet? Aaron? Uh, this is from 2021, so it's a couple years old. We'll see how much fruit flavor is left in here. Um, I'm not 100% positive, but I believe this is a variant of a beer they did called Astronautica Exotica, which is another stout that was kind of like tropical flavored. Um, this was a favorite of my buddy Brett, and so when they brought this back, he was pretty excited for it. Um, yeah, well, last time we did a strong ale, phosphorescence. This time we have stout. I know you're pretty excited about that. I love stouts. That's not talking about it. Let's get to drinking about it. All right, let's open this broken blender. Glug, 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 glug. Yep, definitely a stout. I think my favorite beer I've ever had aged in rum barrels was a Black Tuesday 2014 aged in rum barrels. Mm, that sounds really good. And at the time, I didn't know it was Asian rum barrels oh. until I looked on the back of the bottle. And I was like, oh, no wonder this tastes so different and so good. <laughs> and I think that was my first ever experience with Black Tuesday. Oh, one really? That was aged in rum barrels. Wow. And it was so good. I mean, it was one that I opened like early afternoon. It was during COVID time. Yeah. Um, like on a Saturday or a Sunday. And I just drank it all afternoon into the night. Wow. Sounds like fun. But that's not a hero there. Let's go to the nose on this one. Stout. Stout. Sweet. I'm gonna say stout. It's like a sweet chocolatey smell. Like Bottle Logic's base stout is kind of like that yeah. sweet chocolatey. Yeah. No tropical uh, anything on here. I thought I would get a little bit mm -mm. of tropicalness or even a little bit of that nutmeg. What's supposed to be in here again? It says uh, coconut, pineapple, orange peel, and nutmeg. I don't get any of that. Yeah, not even the rum barrels. This smells almost bourbon barrel aged. So let's see if it comes through on the palate. Mm-hmm. The rum barrel I can taste on the palate. That's it though. Yeah, it's like a sweeter, smoother stout. Lots of chocolate at the end, though. Yeah. Which is all the stout. Yeah. Maybe a little teeny tiny bit of coconut right before it ends into chocolate. But I'm just searching at this point. Very chocolatey. It's really good. I really, really like it. Yeah. And I, I love the rum barrels for stouts. Uh, most of the time... I feel like I would rather have my stouts aged in rum barrels. That might be a hot take, but. I think that since everything is aged in bourbon barrels, not that you're burnt out with it, but it's something new and different and fun. Yeah. And if everything was aged in rum barrels, you'd be like, 
I wonder what a bourbon barrel aged stout tastes like. Or an absinthe barrel aged stout. <laughs> um, but you you can agree that you don't want it or you don't want it in tequila age. Uh, no, no, those are some of my least favorite stouts. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's because I don't like tequila. Someone who likes tequila made like that. Um, this, yeah, it's very smooth and like buttery mouthfeel compared to bourbon barrel aged stouts that usually have are a little more spiky. Um, the alcohol kind of hits you a little bit more. The alcohol on this one is, is also not super mm -mm. high. I can tell it's there. There's a little bit of like that, I don't know, like alcohol, I want to say almost like a vapor in the back of your throat. Like, you know you're drinking something that's a little higher in alcohol, mm -hmm. but it's not burning my mouth at all. Mm -mm. Um, it is a couple years old, so I wonder if that means just all the fruit flavor, all the tropicalness is just gone from this beer. Have they made this again since? They have not. Well. It's been a couple years. But, you know, um, as of the filming of this video, we're just entering mid-July. They got plenty of time to, to make it again. I do know we're coming up here on uh, Fundamental Observations release. So I know that's going to take up a lot of their time. Yeah. Yeah, this is, um, I'm, I, I'm usually used to rum aged things being a little bit more sweet. This is not as sweet as I was thinking it was going to be. It's more ch bitter chocolatey and stouty and, but it's good. I really, really like it. I can taste the rum barrel. Yeah. That's what's different about it. This isn't just a bottle logic based out. No. But it's good, I like it. Yeah, I, I, I remember liking this fresh as well. Don't remember what it tastes like, unfortunately. I wonder if warm, if it'll taste different. So, let's sip on it a little while longer and come back with our rating and final thoughts. All right, we're back. We've let it warm up a bit. And tasting it, I'm getting a lot more coconut now and just the tiniest bit of pineapple. I'm getting coconut, no pineapple. Yeah, and it's it's tasting more tropically now for me, which is good. Um, I feel more comfortable being able to rate this now. Um, so word to the wise out there, if you have them, drink them, because those tropical fruits have faded or are fading. Still, still a lot of chocolate and still a lot of everything that we said before, but now, now coconut. But just a just a little bit though. It's not like an overpowering flavor of coconut. It's just a little subtle flavor at the very end. I feel like it's just because it's fading. Yeah. Um, do you know how you rate this beer? Hmm. Give it a four and a half. Four and a half. I love yeah. Bottle Logic. I would say that's fair. Four and a half is good for this. It's a really, really, really good beer. It's one I hope that they bring back this summer. That'd be really cool because I, I just love the rum barrel aging of the stouts. Same. Um, but I do love the sweet stouts and rum is a sweeter alcohol in general um, than bourbon, so. It really enhances all the sweeter types of things they try to do. Alcohol-wise, um, like I said, I can feel that there's alcohol on here, but it's not burning my mouth off. Mm -mm. How many decimal places are they going to? Two. Two? I'm going to say this is a 13.25. 12.54. Ooh. A little point seven five off or whatever. Wow. <laughs> you should quit. Kidding. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I mean, not a super high ABV, but nevertheless, you're not drinking and driving after this. Correct. Another banger from Bottle Logic. Another good summer beer, like a little tiki cocktail during the summer. It's always nice. But that's gonna do it for today's beer review. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon. It'll ring a ling ling and we'll let you know when we upload new videos. But until next week, meet, we're the Brewmatures, trying every beer from around the world. One sip at a time. time.